Okay, I'm here in the studio this afternoon and I'm going to set up a low-key film noir style portrait which I'm calling the poker player. I've got the lovely Riel coming in to model for me again today. This time I'm using the uh, Elenchrom heads and I'm using three different heads for this shot. Firstly, I've got our main light, which is the Allen Crom ELC 500 with the 44 centimetre square reflector with grid. So that's gonna give me a nice little pool of light just on Riel's face. She's gonna be sitting here at the table. Um, then I've got over here as a backlight, I've got another 500 ELC with the 21 centimetre reflector with a grid and the barn doors attached just to sort of keep that light narrowed down onto the back of her head. She's going to be wearing a black hat. The background's going to be very, very dark as well. So I need that separation light to really keep her off the background. And of course, this guy up here, I'm using a little Ellen Crom RX1 head here because I wanted something very lightweight. I've just got it set up here on a C stand with the boom arm. And I've got the snood attached with the little grid positioned down here in the front. And that's just gonna create a nice little pool of light on the table here to highlight the chips and the, the cards. So that little setup should give us a really nice low key film noir style. So I'm gonna share with you some of the results as well. And um, hopefully you'll get an understanding of how to set this up for yourself. All right, let's get started. Okay, Riel is in position. Just making the last little adjustments to the position of the lights, just to give me a starting point. And I'll do a few test shots just to see how that looks. Not looking too bad straight away. I'm thinking there's a little bit too much light on Riel's face though. So I'm just gonna move it around further to make it a bit more dramatic. This is what we call short lighting. Because as you can see, the side of Riel's face that is pointing towards the camera, which is what we call the broad side, is in shadow. So therefore the opposite side is what we are lighting, and that is the short side of the face. Just show that again from the camera perspective. You can see how much difference that makes, just moving the light around a little bit further. Let's see how that shot looks. Yeah, much stronger shadow in that shot. And the overall image looks a lot more dramatic. Let's just look at all three lights individually just to see what effect they're having. Let's start with the main light. You can see that's lighting a little bit of the table up and, and Riel's hands, but mostly it's concentrated on her face. Now let's turn the backlight on and turn the main light off. You can see just from the modeling light where that's falling. As you can see from that shot, it's fairly subtle. It's just giving that little bit of edge definition, giving some separation between the hat and her shoulder from the background. Now we'll put the down light on, which is gonna light up the table and turn that back light off. And just do a little test shot here. Okay, so this shot shows us that there's a little bit of light just catching the edge of Riel's nose. So we don't want that. It's also not quite centered properly over the cards and the chips. So if I move that back a little bit away from Riel's face and to the camera left, we should get that positioned in the right spot. I'll also just pump up the exposure by a stop just to make that table a little brighter. And that's looking much better. We're getting a little bit of light reflecting up off the table, which is hitting Riel's face, but that's just that reflection. It's not direct light from the snoot. So let's turn all three lights back on now and we'll do another test shot. That's looking really great. I'm really happy with where all those lights are falling. Overall exposure is also looking really good. All right, that's great. So if we have a look at the Skyport HS trigger, it shows us each of those heads individually and what power settings they are set to. The top one, the ELC 500 at 0.5 power is the backlight. The second one down, which is set to 0.4, is the main light with the 44 centimeter square reflector and grid. And of course the RX1 there showing at 1.6 power. 
So this is the massive advantage of the ELC 500s and, and the 1000, is they do power right down to 0.3 is the minimum power setting. If you're trying to replicate the same shot with the same modifiers and the same distance with say a D-Light 4 or a BRX 500, you just couldn't power the light down far enough. Let's just look at a couple of different angles. The beauty of this setup is we've got a couple of different angles we can shoot real at. It's a slightly different angle, a bit more of Riel's face in that shot. Another angle again in a portrait orientation. And I just want to get a couple more shots of the smoke coming from Riel's prop cigarette. The smoke coming from that will be kind of backlit from the main light due to the angle that it's on. And that shows up quite nicely. And just to do a recap on the bits of equipment that we use today. We had ours, our main light, an Allen Chrome ELC 500 with a 44 centimeter square reflector and grid. What I failed to mention before is that I actually had a translucent deflector mounted inside as well. What that does is just soften the light a little bit more and also cut the output down just slightly. For our backlight, another ELC 500 head with the 21 centimeter reflector and a 30 degree grid. That's part of the Allen Chrome grid set 21 centimeter complete, which comes with eight, 12, 20 and 30 degree grids. And then we also added the Allen Chrome barn door set 21 centimeter with frame, just so we can cut that light down a little bit further and have it not spread on areas we don't want lit. And lastly, as our little downlight, lighting up the chips and the cards on the table, was the Ellen Crom D-Light RX1 head. And on the front of that, we had the Ellen Crom Snoot and Grid. So that's it for our low-key dramatic film noir style portrait. Big thanks to Riel for posing for us today. I'll pop her social media links in the description below. I'll also link up all the different bits of equipment from Ellen Crom that we use today. Thanks again for joining us on this shoot and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.